can start in small scale. And I think small samples of each of the substances the acid's supposed to have eaten through, like ceramic for the bath, steel for the gun, uh, pig bone and pig flesh for the body, and wood for the floor, and see if the acid actually reacts with it. And if it can, then you'll ramp up to full scale. We're going to ramp it up to full scale no matter what, but yes, exactly. Well, there's one thing you guys need to, to remember. HF is really, really dangerous. Yeah, that's an understatement. Uh, we're going to really have to lock down our safety procedures. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. And since hydrofluoric acid is so toxic that even a tiny amount on your skin could be deadly... Stylish. It's off to Berkeley, where their crack team of chemists have a supply of this concentrated corrosive. In the actual program, Walt describes hydrofluoric acid as being capable of dissolving metal, rock, glass, and ceramic. All materials commonly findable in an average bathroom. We've added a couple of others, plus our favorite human analog, pig. And we're going to introduce them to some hydrofluoric acid to see what happens. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and load these with uh, 100 mils of hydrofluoric acid. Eric, the chemist, carefully pours the acid. Oh, there's the meat. It's not bubbling up right away, though, is it? No. We're smoking. Making sure that all the samples receive exactly 100 mils. Well, now the most crucial aspect of any experiment. Waiting. Yep. And after an eight-hour soak in their acid bath, according to Breaking Bad, there should be nothing left. Right? Let's see what we got. Uh, some residue on the bottom there. But... It seems completely unaffected by the acid. Yeah. The steel is still intact, and so is the linoleum and the wood. It seems like it's pretty much unaffected. But the drywall is a different matter. Oh! Oh, the drywall is just a soggy, soupy mush. Yeah, it looks like the plaster is pretty much gone. And the acid has also affected the cast iron tub. Yeah, it's clearly eaten through the ceramic glaze. Look at that. Underneath, it feels quite solid. <laughs> now for the meat. The main course. Yeah, it's definitely affected the meat, but, you know, I still see a bunch of fatty tissue there. Despite some minor changes, the acid failed to chew through every single material. So it's clear the hydrofluoric doesn't have the same bite as Breaking Bad.